Hey, what's going on, y'all? Okay, so this week's episode of Big Bear Fishing is going to be a little different. Um, doing something that I uh, haven't done on this channel. We are actually, you know what, we're just going to dive into it, and as we go, you can figure out what I'm building. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a... Uh, going to be a huge surprise and it's going to be really exciting for the channel so let's get into it oh here just so you can sort of guess what we're doing we have um, three foot two by fours we have five of those we have a four foot two by four we have this piece there's another smaller piece right there and then we have two of the 24 inch two by fours. So you can uh, use your imaginations to figure out what we're building. And then we have four cans of black spray paint. The fourth can being a lacquer finish for the front of the project. And we have some screws. We have some brackets. We have some more brackets. Yeah, you can uh, sort of use your imagination. Let's get to it. Okay, y'all, so for starters on these, um, the three foot boards, we, are, we need to take six inches off of these and um, we are going to, so we want it to be about well we want the legs to be about 30 inches high the that's three quarter inch it's actually going to be um, 30 inches and three quarters 30 and three quarters inches height total but um that's what we're going to do all right y'all so i got all the wood cut um just in time too because it just started raining uh, more it was like perfect time and it just started sprinkling when I was finishing up um, this one right here which is the front brace and actually no the back brace the one on the bottom that's technical anyway um, just finished that up and it started raining it's been the wettest summer here I can ever remember which I'm not complaining because we have a well but at the same time I am complaining because it's been really wet but uh, anyway, we are going to start assembling. Um, we're going to get the legs on the uh, platform first, and then we'll do the bottom brace. And we'll do that right now. All right, y'all. Here's the thing that I made. It's been about, I think, what, 35 minutes is? Total 45, so 45. Actually. It's been 45 minutes. So we went from the wood sitting on the table to this in about 45 minutes. Um, it is not. It's really sturdy, but um, the base is not perfectly straight, but I mean, it is, it is very, very sturdy. And you'll see why we need it to be so sturdy here in a second. But first I'm going to take the spray paint outside and spray paint it. That I will film because I know that's satisfying, oddly satisfying, <laughs> but um, I'll film spray painting it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna take it outside before it starts raining again because the sun actually came out for a little bit and it's probably not going to last very long. All right, y'all, we are going to paint this and we're doing it black. So that's the first can that's further that was a lot more than halfway done that's a lot further than i thought one can was going to go 
second can. Okay, yeah. so for the last coat, we have the um, Rustoleum, we did the lacquer. It's an all-purpose lacquer finish. So it's the black and then it'll be like that shiny finish. And we're gonna do that on the front right here. And then pretty much anywhere on the front you can see, I went ahead and did everything on this is um, spray painted except for the very bottom because nobody is ever going to see that. Even me being OCD, it's not gonna bother that. So um, yeah, so we're gonna put this on and then it says factory like finish on wood, metal, and more. Ultra smooth. So yeah, we're gonna get that on there and go from there. Gotta let it dry now. I think um, I'm gonna leave it out here and then just keep an eye on it. If it starts to rain, I can just wheel it in the garage and let it dry. That way it'll be out of the rain, but it'll still get the fresh air. Then we'll take it inside. But first I gotta go get the spot set up for where I'm gonna put this thing. And then, um, yeah, there's, it's just, I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Um, but yeah, that's as much as I'm gonna say for right now. Just keep watching if you wanna find out. You can skip ahead, but that's kind of cheating. So don't do that. <sighs> we have that corner right there with the Big Bear Fishing. Hmm. If only we had something to put in that corner right there, that would be awesome. Bam. That looks really good right there. All right, we need, well, that's it. That's the video. We put a stand in there. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, we got some other stuff to do. I need to go um, clean the, well, I'll just show you real quick. All right, y'all, so if you remember, we had the turtles in this tank right here. And I need to clean, see this right here? That's where the um, Playco can't get down, Draco the Playco. That's where he can't get down into the bottom. And um, usually I just clean that. But I need to clean all of these rocks in here, so I'm going to take those out, clean them, and then we'll move on to the next step of the project. Uh, Y'all are probably beginning to see where we're going with this, but anyway, the Playco is right up under there. I don't know if you can see him. He's up under the dock right there. Alright, next step and then we'll move on. Alright y'all, so we got this one all clean and we are going to surprise Jesse with some fish in here. Um, we have Mr. Playco. He's hanging out in there for now. The moss ball. We got a moss ball to put in here. It's going to look really cool. And don't mind the mess. Ta-da! Check this out. Surprise! This is the... Uh, new addition to the Big Bear Fishing Channel and we are going to put some really cool fish in here. Um, I need to fill this up. That's two trips and it's only about a couple inches deep. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep going and get it filled up. Alright y'all. So there we are. Um, I need to go get some gravel and stuff and some friends to put in there. Um, I'm cooking dinner, so I will be back in just a little bit. But yeah, it's looking really, really good. So I'm excited. All right, y'all, we just got back from the pet store. There are two 
Oscars. These are no, no, these are cichlids. I'm gonna put those in the aquarium, and I'll show you the rest of them here. All right, y'all. So we are going to set these guys right over here. They need to float around in there for a little bit and acclimate to the tank, and then I'll show you the other fish that we got here. I know I just I gotta get this table cleaned up before Jesse gets home because it is a mess. Wood that I gave Jonas for the project. We got we found a top for her tank. Here we have a little Placo. Look at that guy. <laughs> Wait, can I see how small so he is? cool. A little tiny Placo. Oh wow, he's tiny. Alright, we're gonna so we're gonna put him in here. Let him acclimate. All right, y'all, there are the other predators that we got for the other tank for silver dollars. We're going to go put these guys in the tank to acclimate, set them in there. So we got to leave them in here. Um, I need to read actually, I think, I believe they have to stay in there for 30 minutes. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then last but not least. The last bag of fishes that we got. All right, Jonas picked these out for Jesse. Let's go on the other side. We got two Dalmatian mollies and Jonas, what were the other ones called? The tangerines. Tangerines, they were tangerines. So we're gonna put those in here. And then I need to go out to the kitchen and I got that for Jess. Um, that's gonna look really good in there. This kind of Halloween-y. She likes those colors this time of year because of Halloween. We got fish food. We got API, tropical flakes. Those are for her fish. These are for the silver dollars. I could have just got one thing, but then these. Those are for the Oscars, cichlid pellets, among other things that we will be feeding the Oscars. <laughs> Algae wafers for both of the um, Placos. Hers isn't going to eat a whole lot of algae wafers uh, with all those fish in there, so mine is this guy that's going to be going in with the Oscars because they can't eat them. So. And then I got this for the big tank, which I need to rinse off and stuff. Thought that looked pretty cool. That'll look nice. But anyway, all right, I got some work to do. All right, and then we have, I got, I don't know how much of this we're gonna actually need. I could, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But we got seven bags of this. Um, I need to go rinse all these off. I need to clean the plants and yeah. I need to clean the both of the logs that we're going to put in the big tank. Yeah? Okay. Need to get to it. All right, y'all. So for this, we're going to use a regular strainer. And actually, you know what? Use a regular strainer, and then we have these stoppers. I'm going to throw this down. That was a mistake we made last time that we did this. Dump that right in there. gotta do that like a million more times and then we will be good all right so we're gonna take these and we're gonna dump them in. Well, we're not really gonna dump them, but I'm gonna put them in nice and gingerly. That's sound. Oh, that's cool. That's looking pretty good. Now we need to 
put our um, logs and stuff in, but I need to rinse those first, so I will be right back. All right, also we got that one right on that side. It's like a glare on the tank. Check that out, that looks pretty good. Then we're gonna put the other one over here and that should be good. But I need to go grab the other one and we'll put it in here now. All right, yeah, that one's submerging faster. <laughs> that one went faster. That looks good. Let's say it's growing out of the mm -hmm. rock. It's pretty good. Yep. All right, y'all. So we got that one in. That looks pretty darn good. I like that a lot. Oh, it just moved on its own. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next step. All right, y'all. So here's our moss ball. So I am going to hold the bowl differently before I drop it. the moss ball down in. I'm going to do it in between like that. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ezra? Yeah, down in between nice. the log? Looks like moss. Alright, so there's the moss ball. That looks really good in between there. That was a good idea. Wow. Okay. Alright, y'all. So we are going to flip it on. Ooh. I like that. Looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Now that's what a finished tank looks like. <laughs> Saw the camera. <laughs> I think one the other way. Alright, so <laughs> we do need to get some I'm gonna get some placo food, but I'm not gonna feed the other ones just yet. Mm -hmm. I'm get some placo food until Maybe feed them here in about an hour and a half, two hours. Sounds good. This is what we feed our um, Placo, the uh, algae wafers, and we can drop a few of those in there. Since it's a clean tank, give him something to eat. He's down there on the... Yeah, he's on the <coughs> bottom side of that log right there. Probably where he'll stay most of the time. Mm -hmm. He tends to find a spot and then he just like hangs out there. Like the old floating dock. Mm -hmm. This is what the wafers are. Algae wafers. And drop them in. Try to get them to. Can't get them to go over there. He'll come down and eat them. He always finds them. How much food floats? Hopefully, they don't get sucked up into the filter. Got more. And then probably good. I think it's because it, like you didn't like chuck it in like the other ones. Yeah. He'll find them. That's like moving towards the filter. Hey, well that was surprising. So one of the um, silver dollars actually went down there and grabbed a bite of. Huh. Maybe they are hungry. They're acting like they are. Let's um go ahead and I'm gonna put some flakes in there. I'm just going to put like a pinch of flakes in there and see what they do. Okay. Alright y'all, so Ezra has the silver dollar flakes and he's going to drop those in right now. Any silver dollars? Any takers? I don't think they see them. They're eating the algae wafers. <laughs> the plate is going to be mad. These ones are a little bigger. These Maybe flakes. Drop some more flakes in there. Maybe they'll see them. Alright, why are they just floating up there? One's falling. Oh, there, they're gonna see that one. Maybe. 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 No. Maybe. Oh, no. Maybe. No. Maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> Turn away. They're eating the algae wafers. Stop eating the algae wafers. Healthy for them to eat them. Oh, the Oscar sees the flakes. As the Oscar saw the flake. Alright. Oh, there we go. They're eating. They're eating. They're eating. Get it. And that one just oh, the like. Oscar's gonna eat that flake. Oh that's weird. Oscars usually don't eat the flakes. Alright. We're ready for those. Okay. Sick good. So we're feeding them the same food that they feed them. Um, we got this I showed you earlier for the tropical. 
Those are the flakes for the uh, tropical for the silver colors, and we got these for the cichlids. So. Sprinkle some in there. Make sure there's enough for everyone. Every fish, more like. They're demolishing those algae wafers. Mm-hmm. Oh, the placo is starting to. Move um, around. It looked like it was like its eyes got a little wide. Alright, well, they're just gonna keep demolishing the algae wafers instead of eating the pellets. That's okay, when it gets over there, it'll push the pellets down. There we go. Now they're getting it. <laughs> so cool. They're so fun to watch. Very cool. I'll just like pull a chair up here. Silver dollars are going crazy. See how they stay in a school? Mm -hmm. Follow each other around. <laughs> they keep tagging that algae wafer. Yeah. They'll be healthy. You get their salad. Looks well, like these fish don't like hide. Like they're very mm -hmm. active. Alright, well, we're gonna call that. We're gonna check on them here in a little bit. And we're gonna leave them alone for now and let them sort of hang out. Alright, so these are the mollies. We have a um, tangerine, mother tangerine, and then we have two Dalmatian mollies. Everything's healthy in the tank. It looks really good. We are going to give them a little food. You guys can see how they eat. And then we'll go check on the big tank. It's been, um, so we gave them a rest yesterday. Obviously we fed them and stuff, but I didn't film them and make them run around and stuff. But anyway, that one's nice, that one's yeah, okay. That one's pooping right in front of us. I like this one right here. Yeah, that's a cool one. Alright, you want to give them a couple flakes there? A couple flakes. Yep. I'm going to open this up on the top. Give them some flakes and do the feeding. Alright. There they go. Going crazy. Crazy mollies. <laughs> They're so funny looking. I know. Alright, so we're gonna go look at the big tank. Alright y'all, so here is what the big tank's looking like. It looks really good. Again, this is a 36 gallon. Um, we have the moss ball down here. We have some fake back there. Look, the Oscars are following the camera. And then we have that log right there, which looks really pretty. Two of the silver dollars, and there are two more over there. Ezra is going to drop some of the pellets in there. Oh, there are the Oscars. It's fast how quickly they get trained. Alright. Alright, they'll get those pellets and then Ezra's going to also drop some flakes in there. For the silver dollars. For the silver dollars. Which I noticed that, um, so our Oscars used to eat the pellets and minnows and stuff, but they never really ate the uh, flakes. Try and drop those in. Silver dollars, we'll see them eventually. I maybe saw it. Yep, there they go. You <laughs> think they're shy eaters. Um, the pellets, we'll drop a few more of those in. Okay. Since the silver dollars eat both. Just like piranhas. Yeah, there they go. And you can close the top so nothing gets in there. Or so they don't jump out. Ooh, don't slam it down. Okay. There we go. <laughs> cool. Yeah, they're pretty. They're going to be pretty um, pretty big, too. <laughs> so will these guys. The silver dollars will get big, too. That one's also pretty big down there. Mm -hmm. Posing for the camera. Yep. Anyway, so that's the update. Everything is healthy. Uh, we're excited. And we're going to call it a video. Yeah. But we will catch y'all. Jonas came out. Hi. Jonas. <laughs> His hair is a mess, but he doesn't care. Okay, but anyway, we will catch y'all next time. Make sure that you hit the like button if you like the video. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell us if you're excited about the new content that we're going to be doing. Um, these 
will they're gonna keep getting bigger and i want to do live feedings because i've had oscars before and silver dollars and we actually fed them feeder fish so that i'm really really excited about but uh, anyway comment down below let me know what you think about the new additions and um, we're going to be getting some more fish for that tank as well i don't know if i'm going to put I, I don't think i'm going to put anything else in here because these are all going to get fairly big and um, i don't want to outgrow the tank too fast but Anyway, share the video. I appreciate it when you guys share the video and you do an awesome job of it. And subscribe. And we will catch you all next time. Take care. Take care.